tires and shovels and hammers and dirt, oh my. There's actually very little that inspires the imagination more than taking trash such as tires and improving the environment by burying them, ramming them with dirt, and certainly it is inspiring. Well, hello. Earthship versus Aircrete. Earthship is certainly one of the iconic figures in alternative building. Um, we love the idea of taking trash and tires and packing dirt in them to ram the earth and then berming it with earth and putting a cool tube through it to modulate the temperature. And that works great in New Mexico and certain climates. As long as the average temperature is acceptable for your comfort. But what we find in modern Earthships, such as the simple survival model uh, and the new models going forward, is that the earth berm itself is placed against the tires and a very thick layer of foam board is placed around your earth berm. And this actually adds the insulation necessary to balance uh, thermal mass and insulation. And it works great. Um, this foam board, of course, in that mass being so much bigger than the living space does add a substantial cost. And yes, you can use recycled foam board and stack it up to get the thickness you need. Um, but even so, in our climate here, uh, you wind up with an average temperature that's uncomfortably hot toward the end of the summer. The nights just don't cool off enough. In New Mexico, it might be 113 during the day and yet 53 at night. Uh, whereas in this climate, it may be 103 during the day, but then it's only 85 or 88 at night and it's humid. So the Earthship doesn't give me the comfort that I would prefer. And it does now in its new uh, design include insulation on the outside. And so it's almost the perfect design for a house. And it's certainly not um, something that you couldn't live in in this climate. It's just not something that you can control the temperature of. And of course you hear this come up over and over again that the big advantage to Aircrete is it's just insulation and you can use a little appropriate technology and you can keep it at the temperature that you choose and you can stay comfortable in any climate. Um, you know, generally we're not talking about passive designs here. Very few people actually build a passive design house. Uh, and that's a subject we'll get into in a later video. But for most of us who desire a certain comfort level, um, Aircrete, in my opinion, wins out again just because it's so controllable. And I suppose with the new implementation of, of Earthship, you could in fact heat and cool these as well and, and use a little less thermal mass around them uh, and really have a stable temperature. And you know, they're beautiful structures. In fact, one of the things that everybody likes so much about Earthship is that it's so self-contained. It collects the water, uh, it processes the water in, in a filtration and pump system, it collects its own solar energy, it recycles its water. And all of these things can and are being done inside of Air Crete, um, if you look at most of the modern Earthship designs, they're just a sheet metal roof now. And certainly whenever you design an Air Crete house, you can absolutely collect that water off a conventional roof. Uh, or you can build a ledge around your dome so that the water that runs around the edge goes into a channel and is collected. Um, you can collect uh, uh, even more rainwater by simply getting containment liners from the oil industry, which is even cheaper than pond liners. Or used billboard liners, they're cheaper yet. And you simply lay them out on a hill slope and concentrate that water to a sump with a nice big pump capable of putting that water up in the tanks whenever the rain does come. And then that water is simply treated with UV light and filtered. And so the systems of alternative power, water, and waste management are pretty much uh, the same either way, whether you choose an Earthship or uh, Aircrete. If um, you want something that's quick, easy, and convenient, and that's something that's very big in my opinion, not just the comfort of living inside of the structure, but the comfort of building the structure. I know people who have been packing tires uh, with earth for over eight years, eight years of packing earth by themselves, and they're still not done. Whereas Aircrete, you can build a small starter structure in as little as 14 days with just one person who stays at it and it's not overly labor intensive. Uh, the materials, yes, the, those materials are manufactured and brought to you. They do produce CO2, and you can use your wastewater to completely zero out the carbon footprint of the manufacture of that cement. 
And so the environmental impact is left to, you know, the, the uh, strip mined limestone mountain ranges that are then broken down, cooked and broken up into powder to create our Portland cement. So there's that aspect. But when you look on the, the Earthship side, that same man who's been packing those tires for eight years and isn't done yet, he has this enormous stack of tires that, by the way, has taken years in his area to be able to gather enough tires to build with, even though you would think it's a readily available, it's not always an available material. Um, and not excluding any kind of off-gassing or chemicals that are in those tires, um, he was facing an EPA fine because he had more than 700 tires on his property and that is actually considered a hazardous waste by the EPA. Now, luckily for him, he was able to simply um, present a disposal plan, and after presenting the plan for dealing with the waste problem, they've left him alone. And um, that was fortunate that he didn't have to pay someone to haul off the tires or to haul them off himself and literally pay a disposal center to process those tires. With Aircrete, that's not even an issue. Um, and I know that in spite of the evils of strip mining mountains, limestone is going to be continued to be strip mined. Uh, tremendous miles and miles and miles of roads are built with concrete. Our society builds bridges and houses and infrastructure, uh, people's driveways, uh, the foundations to their homes with this baked limestone known as Portland cement. And the truth is that that's not going away unless society has a drastic change. And at this point, I don't see society ever changing off of this course uh, short of a major disaster. Um, and speaking of disaster, of course, Aircrete offers you the ability to go build yourself a bug out location, a survival shelter, storm shelter, storage shelter, and very quickly, anywhere that you can drive to. So it's extremely convenient. The materials can be trucked and delivered right to where you're going to use them, where you don't have to lift these bags. If you can't lift a 92 pound bag of cement, you can just scoop it out and you can do your mixing. So you see that really Aircrete's just so convenient. And it's actually very affordable. When you calculate in the, the, the foam board uh, and the traveling and the gathering of tires and the packing and the amount of labor, um, to build an earth ship is uh, very expensive in terms of labor. If you hire the job done, if you hire me to build you an earth ship, it's going to be $250 a square foot to build your earth ship. And that's just because there's so much time and so much labor. And even with the machinery to scoop the dirt and the tampers to tamp the dirt, it still takes a lot of labor and it takes a lot of time. And then there's a lot of additional time filling in the dips in the tires where they come together with cans or other debris and trash and then putting cement over that. Um, if you look at some of the more modern earth ships, you'll see that a lot of that's beginning to change and some are even going to more conventional rammed earth as a wall and there's good reason for that. And so you see, when you compare the two, um, you know, if you've got a whole lot of time and you don't mind the amount of time and really hard physical labor or hiring it done or you've got a lot of people that can come help you out for free, then that's great. Earth ships are awesome. But I propose to you that Aircrete is a better alternative for someone who wants something fast, something easier, something that um, can be made to look like anything, something that can be very functional and work in any climate. And it can do all of the things that Earthship can do, um, but it does it in a more convenient package. So, you know, you know, I'm not saying that one's better or worse than another, but I'm saying that I believe Aircrete ultimately is superior in convenience and ultimately affordability. And that's not just financial affordability, that's the affordability in labor and time. I mean, what is your time worth, really? How many of us actually have access to a mountain of EPA classified toxic waste who want to spend the time driving everywhere and grabbing these, gathering them up, bringing them back, and then having to beat earth into them? Um, you know, so, and of course, either one can be improved upon by changing your design parameters, by doing things a little differently. So when you consider a house, consider what you want, what the time frame is, what the actual cost is to be able to build your house, and I believe that you'll probably come to a similar conclusion. And if not, I would really encourage you to attend a, uh, a rammed earth workshop or a earth 
ship workshop because you'll get to see hands-on just how much labor it really is to build with. Is it superior in terms of environmentalism? Ultimately, um, you know, maybe. Maybe it is more superior in terms of environmental trash. At least you're burying the trash inside your house instead of at a landfill. And one quick add-on. Tires can now be processed back into oil and fuel. So, you know, instead of burying tires in our house, it's probably better in the future to have them all buried in one mountainous location where they will in the future be turned back to plastics and oil and fuel. Um, I personally would prefer to build my house out of uh, completely non-toxic materials and I don't believe that earth ships or tires are particularly toxic actually, but it's just a matter of preference. What do you prefer? I would love to hear what you have to say about uh, the two and which one is ultimately going to fulfill your total desires. Um, because I can promise you this, something that's not perfect but is finished and done and done quickly and beautifully is far better than something that's perfect and environmentally ideal uh, and strokes our environmentalism ego um, that never really gets done or takes a very long time. Done and imperfect is far better, in my opinion, than perfectly not finished. So that's pretty much my opinion and my take on it. And again, I'm not opposed. Uh, it's just as a personal choice, having built all of these alternative houses, having actually lived for a period of time in each type of alternative house, Aircrete just really takes it home for me. It really lights my fire and it gives me a home that makes me feel really good uh, and it's something that even one person can do alone. And most of us have no access to our families as we're spread out, or we have uh, just us, no friends that will really come and actually help for an extended period of time. Uh, and a lot of us don't necessarily want to spend $250 a square foot on a structure. If Air Creek sounds like something that might interest you and you want to really get the hands-on tactile learning, if you want to know that you know that you know that you can do it with confidence, removing all doubt, then of course I invite you to click the link below in the description and attend the Trilingual Alternative Building School or one of our other workshops over at tinygiantlife.biz um, because at these workshops we're teaching you not only the skill of putting up a shell but how to build the water and power systems, how to process your waste, how to do your floors, how to put in your cabinets, how to wire your house, how to build the solar electric systems, and how to clean your water into drinkable water. So it's an all-inclusive education that, in my opinion, is a very good value because you can get all the skills in one place, in one stop, and you can learn and experience all of this and have ongoing support that comes with each person who attends the workshop. So you're never just alone and abandoned after the uh, workshop or the school is over. So you'll always be able to reach out, get a little extra guidance, get a little help, and you'll know with confidence that you can build your house because you've already built a house. You gain the confidence to build, you gain the knowledge to build, you gain support, and you know for a fact what you're doing. And you get a large base of traditional skills boiled down into a very small time frame, much cheaper than a conventional path of learning where you'd have to do multiple schools, go to multiple jobs. You can go to a trade school and in two years get a degree to learn how to install an air conditioning or HVAC system. Uh, you could stop what you're doing and get a low-end uh, slave labor type job where you do all the crappy work crawling around in insulation working for another company to learn how to do air conditioning and, and they're not going to explain it to you and you're still truly not going to understand the mechanics of what's going on with air conditioning. Or you can come to the Trilingua School of Alternative Building and you can just simply learn how to install a functional air conditioning system, a system uh, that is installed properly without screwing it up and you can learn that in just a few days. So again, I invite you to click the link below in the description if this interests you and I would certainly love to meet you at one of our workshops and love to hear your stories of building and what you're doing with your life and on your property and how you're pulling ahead of the average, how you're getting ahead of the standard life, how you're stepping out of the conventional life and living something amazing. And of course, this year is the cheapest it's ever going to be for the Trilingual School of Alternative Building because quite frankly, um, 
we're doing this at less than cost to run this workshop uh, and the price is going to double maybe even more than double next year as we expand this into a full-blown school to spend more time building an actual property from start to finish with even fewer students so that each person maximizes their learning skills this year's workshop for the rapid cast air creep workshop we're going to show you how to build a complete cabin from ground to ready to move into in just 14 days. And it's going to be rapid paced and we're going to fly through every skill, plumbing, electrical, flooring, cabinets, tile, roofing, aircrete, uh, water recycling, solar power. In fact, we're going to build a solar power system from scratch for around $2 a watt finish. That includes your solar, your battery, your battery management system, your, your tracking charge controller and your inverters. We're going to put together a solar system that's substantially cheaper and more powerful and far better than lead acid batteries because we're going to be building uh, lithium ion battery packs. So, you know, if these things interest you, then certainly while the opportunity is available at such an amazing price, um, I do encourage you to click the link below in the description and find out more about the Trilingual Alternative Building School. And if you just can't get away, we also sell an online video course that teaches you how to make aircrete and how to build a dome with it. Um, for people who attend this workshop, we're going to include a copy of the upcoming $300 online digital course that will allow you to review everything covered in the workshop so that you can get a refresher. Because it's going to be such a rapid paced workshop, it, you'll have a reference that you can go back and look on video and have explained to you what's going on and why it's being done in a certain way. And this will be a wonderful reference material. Um, we plan to release that somewhere around Thanksgiving 2019 and so if you can't attend the workshop and maybe you want to experience the online video course after this workshop is done, uh, then certainly keep an eye out for that course. So click the link below in the description. Uh, if you sign up for our email list, when you go on to tinygiantlife.biz, there's a little box that'll pop up once or twice a day and you can enter your email address in there and you'll be notified when these courses become available, when special discounts training. Uh, also, we send out a series of free emails to educate you on what AirCrete is, how to make it, uh, and other useful tips for building your home, as well as announcements for webinars, uh, special offers, discounts, um, and if you participate in the social online share and you share these things from our website with people on your social media, you're entered in for a chance to win a free workshop or a free video course. So be sure to check that out also. That's over at tinygiantlife.biz forward slash TSP. So thank you for your time and I hope you have an absolutely great day.